Hey guys, how's it going? Silix here. So today, i just like to quickly talk about track colors and basic organization within your projects. Now, although this doesn't sound as interesting as how to make a crazy dubstep wobble bass, I still feel it's very important to stay organized because it'll help you visually navigate through your songs more quickly. Uh, overall, it'll help speed up your workflow because you'll be dealing with less cluttered tracks. And if you have to end up sending your session over to somebody else, it's you know, it's going to make their life um, a lot easier. Um, so what I've got here is a mix that I got from somebody. And the first thing that I notice is that um, most of the tracks here have been named, which is good, but we can see that over in the track heads here that some of them uh, didn't name properly for whatever reason. Um, as far as organization goes, we can see that we have uh, some roads up here. We got some um, background vocals followed by drum loop, uh, hi-hats, uh, the guitar's lead vocal bass, so it's just kind of, you know, cluttered right now. So I want to clean that up as well too. And I think if I zoom in here, we can see that some of the tracks have quite a bit of silence left in them. So um, yeah, I guess to start this mix off here, the first thing I'll do is just get rid of all the silence that we don't need here, just to make it a little bit easier for me to look at. So I know that, uh, you know, when I'm zoomed out, I know that exactly the roads will start here, not somewhere else, right? So that's why it's important to clean that up. Okay, so let's trim this back a bit and scroll down a bit more. Okay, trim this guy up a little bit as well. Uh, okay, the snare doesn't come in until about halfway through the song. <clears throat> and uh, the kick and the room mic. You can trim these up as well too. Okay, and everything else looks good. So now we can zoom back out here and uh, let's just start to uh, name our tracks first of all. So we got roads up here. Now I like to name things in capitals. It's just how I like to do things here. And I'm also gonna um, name the track or name, name the region by the track head. So the hotkey that I made for that is Alt Command N. Uh, yours isn't gonna be, will not be the same as that. But if you go up to preferences and your key commands, um, you can just type in name region and there it is here, name regions by tracks. And you can set whichever hotkey you would like for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and um, name these. Now I know this is kind of boring at first, but this is how I start off every single mix, even something that I'm working, uh, that's that's my own too. All right, so I got drum loop, uh, overhead hat, overhead left, overhead right, snare, and this one was snare too, so I'll go back and put a two over there. Um, okay, so we got the slides here. Slide gate one, I will name that left. I'm trying to go as fast as I can here, I promise. So room one, I've got the kick, acoustics. Um, left and right, perfect, okay. Lead vocal and bass. Okay, all right, so now um, I'm just going to go and highlight everything, hit my hotkey, and now everything is named according to the track head here. Perfect. So um, as I mentioned, uh, I don't like the organization of this. It's kind of messy right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move these tracks around in a way that I feel will be easier for me to work with. Um, so I like to have my drums near the top and then everything else kind of sit um, under that. So I'll start with a kick. Uh, where's the snares? We got snare one and snare two, <clears throat> followed by a uh, hat overhead rides left and right. And uh, we'll put the room mic up here as well. And then of course we have a drum loop up there too. So I think that takes care of all the drums. Perfect. Uh, next, I like to have my bass sit underneath where the drums are followed by any pads or keys or anything that's not a lead basically. So we got the roads here, uh, we got the slide, geats, left and right, 
and the acoustics left and right as well. And now all that's left is our background vocals and our lead vocals. Cool, so now everything's named, everything's organized. It's now time to go ahead and uh, bring up the color here, which I believe is Alt and C, or you can just click the colors up here. Um, now, this is just the way that I color tracks. You can color them any way you want that works best for you, but I like to keep things, you know, I like to have my drums kind of one certain color, so when I look at it and my track's totally zoomed out, I know that, you know, the red section or whatnot will be for drums and, you know, green, green for leads or whatnot. So let's just go ahead and uh, color these up here. Uh, we got snare. We'll do the snare as the same color here. Uh, hat. Okay, so these guys will make kind of like an orangey color. And then the room and then the, <clears throat> and the drum loop will make a different orange as well. So kind of like the reds and orange are for drums. Uh, for bass, I like to go with purple. It's just what I've used for many years now. Uh, so the guitars, we'll make these a nice blue. Eh, okay. eh, maybe like a darker blue. Uh, Rhodes, we'll leave these as a lighter blue. And vocals and background, we'll put these as green. Cool. So now, uh, yeah, I'm zoomed out. Everything is organized. Everything's named and everything is colored. I can now go ahead and start, you know, start my mix by throwing on an EQ or compressors. Um, and I think I'll leave that for another tutorial about how I start um, a mix from scratch, right? So this is just to cover track colors and organization so that, you know, if I'm working or just playing, playing my track or anything that it's just easier for me to look at and uh, it's just easier for me to work with. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'll open up one of my own tracks and I'll show you a bit about uh, how I've organized that. Okay, so uh, I've just got one of my own tracks here. It's currently just um, a work in progress. I don't really know where I want to go with it yet. Uh, but as we can see, we have everything on the left side here. All the tracks are named and I have everything color coded. I've even got some markers um, just up top here. So. Um, yeah, you know, if I ever want to go back and uh, change a drum loop or move some things around, I can zoom in and get, you know, really close up. And I know that what I'm, what I have here is a percussion loop or a snare or a kick or what have you, right? It just makes workflow and just working on your on your tracks so much easier. So, yeah, I urge you guys to to stay organized. And if you've haven't been using track colors or anything like that, uh, just to show you a bit about um, how it can speed up your workflow. Um, I think it just comes down to, you know, that saying, work smarter, don't work harder. So uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.